All right, welcome everyone. We are Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Oregairu, Season, Season 1, one episode, episode 9. nine. Hmm. Summer Vacation without Yukino. Yeah, yeah, and they've done their volunteer hmm. work. We've had our little bit with Surumi Rumi. Yep. And, uh, you know, Hi Hiratsuka Sensei had her little conversation with Hachiman, and it was... Indeed. Quite rather, good. Rather good. And yep. yet, Haruno showed up mm -hmm. and uh, stole away Yukino. Yep. Which... Okay, mm -hmm. I... Uh, that's a thing. That's a thing, and yet, in some ways, that kind of makes me more on the, hmm, Yukino and Haruno's parents. Right. In addition to the mm. whole thing that we got that confirmation that the car that was responsible for the almost accident was, was that car that picked that up. That car, which also could mean that potentially Yukino was in the car when it happened, which could or, also potentially color some of their interactions. Yeah. Or at the very least, that Yui recognized the car. So it's a thing of where yeah. all three of them have things that they know about the scenario and yet aren't talking about. Hmm. hmm. Yeah. Because Hachiman definitely recognized it. Mm-hmm. And chose not to say anything. Yep. So that's a whole nother New mess. enchilada, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the sour cream and the guacamole that's on that right. one. That's right, all of it. All the nasty. All of so, it. All right, what's next? Uh, well, rest of summer vacation without Maybe? Yukino. Yeah, unless they want to like time skip past it. Yeah. Uh huh. But yeah, I guess we'll have to see. So y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone. Now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below. Then come back here for the discussion. Well, all right. Well, that was an okay. episode. Okay. Well, I, we didn't have Yukino until the end. We had Yui and uh, ha uh, Hachiman having mm -hmm. a not date. Yep. We had Komachi doing her darndest to try and set up a date. You do not deserve a helpful a sister as helpful as that. Hachiman. Yeah, yeah. Komachi is amazing. Yeah. But but to be fair, to be fair, this was something that you know. He didn't want to do. Yep, that's so true. So that kind of manipulation does end up leading towards very little, I would say, positive uh -huh. yield. But, yeah. however, there were some very positive yield things to come out of this. Mm -hmm. One, we got ourselves a nice little, oh, do you know the thing? You don't know the thing? Oh, the thing. So Haruno's, Haruno's involvement this episode mm -hmm. expedited the um, spreading of information regarding an yes. event that was very big in uh -huh. Hachiman's life regarding yep. the beginning of his high school uh, career, life? Experience. Experience, yeah. yeah. It's, it's something mm -hmm. where I feel like this episode is, because it didn't show us anything fundamentally new for Hachiman as far as how he tends to approach things, you know? Like, this is mm. a lot of the, the same kind of stuff that he's done in the past of, you know, deflecting and, and avoiding because of past pain and things like that. Mm -hmm. We just got to see it go to whole new right. depths. Yeah, this yeah. Episode. The, 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 the maximum overdrive. Yep. Yes, uh -huh. yes. And, yeah, he definitely does not look at the past at all, nope, right? because that would be a life of total darkness. That'd be a life of total darkness, yeah. yeah. yeah he, he definitely doesn't do that. Nope. Oh, nope. He, he definitely uh, doesn't have any problem with uh, not forgiving or, you know, wanting revenge or anything like that. Nope. Not at all. Nope. Not at all. Nope. And, yes, a lot of the things that he says are, you know, in, in sarcasm. And right? jest. And jest. Yeah, like but, the part where he kind of threw some barbs at uh, Yui regarding how, oh, yes, I'm Mr. Nice Guy. Uh-huh. Which, of course, we know, no, he's, he's not, not, like, he has no problems in some ways being a lot like Yukino is mm -hmm. and throwing all kinds of rude kind of shade towards people yep. when they are willing to actually interact with him and mm -hmm. show their 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 lack of of, of of skills in that in that regard but um uh, dude dude mm -hmm. uh this whole thing kind of came to a head once we realized that he gave the uh the classic kind of i don't hate myself i've bit, never hated myself which is something that i actually would love to go out and say sure you might be actually telling the truth here like 
Hate is an extremely strong word. There's yeah, a lot that, of yeah, things that, is, that go up to yeah, that end right. of the spectrum before you get to hate. Yes, and, and even though it is sometimes a bit of a trope in anime for the, oh, if you don't like me as a person, then that means obviously you hate me. There's no, so, no such thing as neutral, right? No. But yeah. But, it, 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 life it don't could, be like that. Life don't be like that. Mm -hmm. Now, it, it could actually be true. It could also just be that Hachiman believes that it is true. But regardless, regardless we have evidence that there's a lot of stuff before hate that he does experience yeah. constantly. Like, I love how his little thing of, I... I'm and not. I'm not thick-headed. I'm not thick-headed. I'm thin-headed. Right, which I which, love. It's so it, good. Oh, yeah. it's fantastic. Right. Yeah. But then it led to him talking about how he needs to admonish himself. Mm -hmm. in these situations which literally gives me the whoosh, mm -hmm. whoosh yep. kind of vibes which of like oh my god that is totally hachiman right. which by the way by the oh. way yes hate definitely has sort of this personal connotation mm -hmm. to it you know like right. personal antagonism mm -hmm. but um when you when you admonish someone for something especially when you're like oh I should admonish myself for something because mm -hmm. should is a very weird word mm -hmm. right that's basically saying I haven't been meeting the bar. At the very least, I have a very low opinion of myself in this particular area. Yeah, yeah. you can have very low self-esteem and still not hate yourself. But it's not a big step to go from one to the other. It's, you it's, can't hate yeah. something that you have a high, you know, esteem for. Like, I, maybe you can, but it's... it's yeah, that, it's there's just, maybe some other issues that need to go be got into right. at, the, at that point. So, but, and, and the fact yeah. that he's saying that this needs to be a regular habit, right? Like, like because I get that, because the part of it where it's the, okay, hey, I've, I've been burned before, mm -hmm. and I don't want to, I don't want to get um, emotionally compromised by Smoke and mirrors. Oh right? God, yeah. You know and, and that, he, that totally. I get that. Yeah. Right? This whole setup for him was full of smoke and mirrors, in that he understands exactly what's going on for for mm -hmm. the most part. Yep. Not necessarily the the you know the total feelings of what's going on within Yui, but in terms of the social dynamic, of he knows what's, what's happening. On. Oh yeah, yeah. He totally yeah. knows what's going on. And then the girls mm -hmm. kind of showing up, and he's like just showing us in some ways that he extra knows what's going on and uh -huh. then he's like ah if i was uh hayato i would get a uh nvp interview mm -hmm. where i would be shown off and mm -hmm. you know this uh trophy display right. little icon of yep. like ah yes look what i have achieved ladies you and know? and whether him leaving is because he doesn't want to be causing discomfort for yui because she's there with a less than guy yeah or because he's mad at yui because clearly yeah, you just brought me here because you wanted to show off that you're here with a guy rather than here with just, you know, your girlfriends and stuff. Yeah. If, Who knows? If, but if, either if, way, yeah. it's, you know. Yeah, if anything, I think we can even assume the best of Yui in that she's the nice girl, and mm -hmm. that already puts her into the Hachiman will do nothing with her kind of thing. Right. So, therefore, yeah. her response to these girls showing up is that she must fall into the nice girl category and at least go over and say hi and you know, do that kind sure. of stuff. But Yui didn't force him to go over there. Right. If so, anything, she tried to introduce them to him. You know, like... Right, like, right. But oh, that was yeah, because they asked. Person. Right, that definitely. wasn't That wasn't her mm -hmm. instigating that. Yep. That's partially, I would say, because Yui is, uh, like, really nervous right now. Mm -hmm. And it is something that is, you know, yeah. awkward for her because he is not only making this difficult with regards to how they interact... But he's not really giving her much of anything to no. indicate that he wants her to continue these kinds of little engagements right. and interactions. In and fact, such. it's not just that he's not giving her things. He is specifically giving her negative reinforcement of this. Yeah. There's uh, – so – now, there, that, that we, we're not going into intentions necessarily, because that gets into degrees and varying levels of but he's, aspects there. He's shutting her down at every opportunity he has. As much as, as, much as he can. Yeah, yeah. Whenever, whenever she compliments him, whenever she's, you know, doing things that, like, say, would be, you know, about mm -hmm. to confess yeah, her he feelings doesn't or the here. like. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. You know, the phone starts ringing, and she's like, no, this is more important. And he's like, aren't you going to answer that? Right. Like, it, it's the, no, I don't want this to be happening. Yeah, it hurts. Mm -hmm. it, hurt, it hurts. But it's and, one of those things of where, like, we, we knew this was going to happen. Right. Like, and as far as yeah. one of the, there, there are a few things that I really appreciate about this. Mm -hmm. One, it's a way for it to play to the conventions of the rom-com of that, even if these characters like each other, and it's so obvious 
obvious. Why aren't? Why don't they end up Even together? Even they don't actually in this case. Though. Well, right, like, right. He, he because doesn't like her exactly, and that's one of the other things that I like about this. Mm-hmm. The the job of the main character is not just to be the perspective character, but it's yes. also to be the person that goes on the biggest growth and journey, mm-hmm. right? In a lot of situations in romance stories, the main character doesn't actually go on much of a journey. They're just there to yep. to find love and that's it, right? Yep. In this situation, Hachiman absolutely needs to go on a journey. He is the one with the most issues potentially of anybody, right? And he is absolutely not dealing with them. He's not right. growing, he's not changing. Yep. And as a result, of course, nothing will happen here. Right. And if anything, if it is something where Yui is not the canon end girl, that's this is setting it up that it's not just an arbitrary decision of whatever the author yes. wanted to do. It has to be this way, or at the very least, it has to be this way right now. Right now. Because Hachiman yeah. is not ready for it, and even though Yui has been growing a ton, she has not reached the level of confidence and 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 self-assuredness and self-worth to be able to exist in this sort of dynamic with Hachiman and actually be able to do the sparring with him. Right, which is why Yukino and mm-hmm. Hachiman are the ones that are going to end up together. Probably. Just, just in general. They, yeah. they have the actual capacity to handle each other's mm-hmm. bullshit, really. Right. And that's that's a big that's a big deal with regards to mm-hmm. relationships is that the flaws that both parties have have to be something that each one is actually willing to coexist with. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to bring up the idea that Hachiman... Hachiman forces himself, I would say, also to not like her. Mm -hmm. Because I think there are some things about Yui that he doesn't dislike. (laughs) To use the whole, Uh I don't dislike you, right, right, you know, um, kind of thing. And yet... She has been relegated, I believe, in his mind mm-hmm. to the nice girl category. Yep. So she's not getting anywhere with him. Mm-hmm. And while I would say that he is trying to spare her a little bit from outside forces uh, when it's not something that aggresses against him first. Right. He definitely like stands Haruno up for, for her when he can. Like Haruno, mm-hmm. for instance, was one of those uh, situations where... You could tell that he was more scared of Haruno than he uh-huh. was of Yui. Yep. So he turned his defenses a little bit, <laughs> set deflectors to angle them to, angle them to the right, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. because she's sitting over there and, and, yeah. and, and Yui's on the left side. <laughs> mm-hmm. Jokes aside, that aspect, though, is, is kind of nice because it's like saying, right. well... Okay, I don't like nice girls, uh-huh. but I'm terrified of whatever this right. is. Right. He he under because of he is he is aware enough of his own past trauma and his own sort of hypocritical bullshit, right? That he is willing he's he's not completely shutting Yui off from like being friendly with him and yes. all of that stuff, but it's the I can't I can't think of you in a romantic light. That right. is not something I can I will buy. get hurt if I do that. I will get hurt if I do that. Yep. So not only can I not think of that, but because you're so charming, mm-hmm. if I sense that from you, I am going to attack it, right? Yeah. But he still, you know, we still had that bit where he he did the whole thing of the even if you were doing this as out of a sense of obligation, well, I've paid back the obligation. You know, here's yep. the the dog collar and all that stuff. Yep. We're, we're good now. We mm-hmm. can we can just move forward from a blank slate, right? Yeah. You know, still a deflection, but it's it's letting her get at least a little bit closer to him. Yeah. This is the part that I think is uh, where we kind of get the the perspective from uh, uh, from from Hachiman's like internal thoughts and stuff where he says, if I was a normal guy, I'd have fallen for her mm-hmm. with that. What that is, is it shows that from his perspective, he is capable of falling for her at any moment. Right. The difference is, is that his not normal aspect mm-hmm. is like this, this disciplined, you know, samurai who meditates yeah. and focuses on the I will not fall for a nice girl. I will not fall for a nice girl. I will not get hurt mm-hmm. by a nice girl. Yep. All that basically keeps his will resolute and, exactly. and protected and guarded so that when these things happen that he is not immune to. Right. Meaning that it is not impossible 
he mm-hmm. would fall for Yui. It is that the things about her that mm-hmm. maybe he does like, or yeah. the things about her that she does that make him go, doki doki, you know, mm-hmm. right. he's like, nope, nope. Yeah. I will steal that. Get down, boner. Like, right, like right. It's pure, it's, pure stubbornness power. Like, right. you know, it, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. It, it is basically the, <laughs> it is the, uh, just, what would be the, in, what would be the parallel of an incel, but instead it's the right, it's cell. The, I have mastered the art of self cuckery. Like, right. like, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's uh, no nut November, guys. What? Right, right. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and this is, this is something where, where every, Every time this kind of development continues to happen, mm-hmm. it it absolutely blows me away because right. on the one hand, it's like, oh, this is all setting it up that Yukino is the main girl because, you know, it's obviously not going to work with Yui for all these reasons, you know, and sure. even on his first date with Yui, a whole five minutes of the episode was spent just talking about Yukino because her sister showed up and everything, <laughs> and... And, you know, he still doesn't know any of Seriously. Yui's friends, and he doesn't really talk about Yui much at all or anything like that, right? I There's a part of me that doesn't want him to end up with Yui, right? Because, no, I, I because agree. They, they, they would not make for a good relationship right now. Definitely and yet at not. the same time, every time that's brought up, mm-hmm. it also brings up this notion of, but if he ends up getting in a relationship with Yukino, would that actually be as a result of him growing as a person, or would that actually just be a complacent relationship where he wouldn't need to grow? See, that's, I think, cutting uh, Hachiman short a little bit, because okay. one of the things that we are doing here is we're still setting up the angles upon which he'll grow. Like, one of the biggest, biggest things about this show mm-hmm. is that the people around him are changing. Yes. And... You hear the thing we just kind of casually accepted. There are people around him. Mm-hmm. The beginning of the show, there was nobody. Zero, uh huh, zero people around yep. him. And as we've come to know his past, which he says he doesn't look at because that would be living a life of total darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Don't <laughs> choke on that. Yeah. 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 Um, mm. We know that he did actually have zero people around him. Right. For the majority of his past. Yeah. Thus. All this stuff happening, where now there's these, all these people around him. Why, why do you think that's happening? Mm-hmm. Why do you think that's happening? Right, there's because a part of... Because he's showing signs that he's moving uh-huh. in a direction. Slowly, kicking and screaming, exactly. dragging himself yep. all the yep. way... The epitome yeah. of the reluctant hero, where, where totally. there's, there is no, there, like, as far as, you know, from what we've gotten so far, mm-hmm. there is no turning point where he embraces the hero's journey and is like, all right, I'm going to grow as a person. No. No, but people don't do that, really, in general. Like, right. Like, that's not... People, most of the time, they just wake up one morning and they realize, oh my god, all these little things piled onto themselves sure. over the course of time, and I'm a very different person. Right, but then at the same time, it's the, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink, yep. right? That's, so that so literally so, Kamachi. <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> yes. So, so he's in this better place now as a result of a lot of the mm-hmm. people that he's with, yep. and he has made little changes and things like that, mm-hmm. right? Yui is, I would say, a great example of that. Yeah. He is not holding her at arm's length. He's just not allowing himself to be vulnerable with her, right? Yeah, I think but, he's in the do not touch because I might accidentally get a uh, exactly <laughs> uh, attracted to her. Right, I might start to like her. No, yeah, like that whole thing at the end when yep. Yuri was talking yep. about how. But yep. I think I still would have ended up here because I still would have been wanting to, you know, work on my own issues and things like that. And you still would have come up with some really dumb <laughs> way to help out and you know and be nice and. Oh. And I probably still would have. Yep. Ah! <laughs> right. <laughs> and, part... and the fact that right before that they had that whole line uh... of sometimes there's something that you need to say, but if it's if it's tough to say it and you yeah. miss your chance, it's then you can just never say it again. Yeah, but, come on, don't do me like this yeah. show. Yeah. You can't. Like. Yeah. Uh... And they also applied that really with uh, Hachiman and Yukino mm-hmm. in that. Uh, when uh, she came up to him, yep, and was like, "Yo, stiff armed." No, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a wall there, right? Trust me. Something where everyone <laughs> else around Hachiman is, even if they're not very good at growing, they're trying to grow. But Hachiman is holding onto the past 
hard. Like yeah, well I okay I hmm. so yeah Hachiman is holding on to the past really hard, mm -hmm. but let's go into the the other people are trying to change kind of thing. I think it's more subconscious than that. Though. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. Like Yukino has not changed that much. That's true. Like, okay. Yeah. Let's let's yeah. Like, let's, yeah. let's like bring up the idea that like uh -huh. in a lot of ways, Yukino is one of the most like iron willed. Mm. I am right. Yep. I with the I, moments everyone of, else should change. You know. Right. Like, right. But she still has that those moments of like. But hold on. Yeah, but I think that's mm -hmm. more us getting to know her. Sure. I feel like she's the one that we know the least, really. Yes. So Yui has changed so much, and mm -hmm. that's just Yui changing so much has chain reactioned all these other little mm -hmm. things to yeah. change and what what have you. So I, I I really feel like that's the that's the big thing right now, and that's why we're focusing on Yui mm -hmm. in the meta sense as the primary first route, if you uh -huh. will, in this, right, right. In this snafu, snafu of a rom-com. Rom -com. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, by this being a dead end, like a mm -hmm. hard dead end here, it's the, okay, for now, for now, this is about the limits in which his, what did you say? Like, you were talking about courage stats or something like oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, this is the limits with his, what, what's a negative stat here? Yeah, I don't know about Pride him. stat? Yeah. Or his, no, 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 just his, if anything, his uh, protection stat or what have you is too high at this point. Right. Because it's focused on a specific kind of. I mean, I would say, I would say courage stat kind of works with this because. Oh. Because he. Gotcha. It, it, it's also a pride thing, but like the, the stubbornness, I True. feel like it comes from a, from, from a couple things. One, fear. pride, but two, fear based on past experiences yeah, fear right of pain basically right right exactly so yeah. so this is something where where he is his courage stat is actually incredibly low because right. he's not able to take those little leaps of faith and go into those places where he's uncomfortable nice. in order to see if if the past painful experiences actually apply here or not right right, right. okay so and then and then it's also the the pride thing of the no 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 no, no i am right I am doing this because this is what I choose. I'm I'm not going to look at the fact that I'm really just still a scared little kid that hasn't grown up really since middle school. Like I'm still holding on to those the that same that same sort of mm -hmm. you know uh, general set of experiences, right? Right, and it's it's one of the things where he's he's actually kind of right in this instance here with Yui, and that if he did actually fall for her, the whole thing would fall apart and he would get hurt. So it's it's something that's kind of yes. funny how not you can in get... a way that he would think maybe no but, uh, no no but yeah that not. would that would happen. But is is one of those things that's kind of funny where when someone is. Um, protective regarding their own feelings and mm -hmm. stuff like that in this kind of way their own projections become a self-fulfilling prophecy if you will for sure how they will experience life and mm -hmm. i i wanted to bring up something that was a repeated thing uh regarding this and that's that um uh what what is this she mentions how do mentions something about that you wouldn't get jealous oh what, what was it she said something like uh the whole thing of like well okay i guess she wasn't the one again or oh just do you hate her and it's oh, like oh uh-huh and it's like no 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 and then yui goes on to talk about how awesome she is and she's like i'm going too far here aren't he aren't i and it's like that's what they all say at first but by the end they reject her out of jealousy right and and he's saying, I hope you're different. And she's like, mm -hmm. oh, no, I won't do that. Which is like, mm -hmm. oh, my God, you, yep. you yep. don't even know what uh -huh. you're saying. Like, we can uh -huh. already tell where this story is going. And there's going to be plenty of opportunities where you m will mm -hmm. want to reject her out of jealousy. Yep, yep. And then we have uh, Hachiman deftly being like, oh, my mom always taught me not to be picky. Which is, that's, <laughs> that's hilarious. God, I, that but, was such a good response. It's such a good response. But I love the idea that in this moment here, Haruno is basically saying, I worry about my sister. Right. She's on a path where she will have no friends. Mm -hmm. And I can't stop her. Yep. So if anything, I'm going a little bit around her back and poking uh -huh. at friends to be yep. like, 
hey, yep. I hope you understand my sister. She's complicated and, and it's yep. it's messy and, and you don't know everything. Uh, and it's like that's, that's that's really good because it humanizes Haruno a bit, mm -hmm. even though her methods are really Ugh, right, they're, nasty they're, they're, they're extreme, and we know that she definitely has her issues because Hiratsuka Sensei has basically confirmed as much. Mm -hmm. But it also brings up the whole thing again, and this is this is one of the reasons where I, I would be excited for, you know, a, a relationship between Yukino and uh, mm -hmm. and Hachiman, is that they have similar issues. Right. So what that can mean is on on the negative side, it could be something where they both don't grow because they're both too similar. Yeah. Right. On the positive side though it's you're looking in a mirror right and for people that are really proud looking in a mirror that can be a great way to get them to change because mm -hmm. they look at someone that's very similar to themselves they see all the things that deep down they don't actually like about themselves yeah. and they're like oh my god that bugs the shit out of me right <laughs> why does that bug the shit out of me oh oh <laughs> wait a minute hold on they're what actually you know? really similar to me aren't they uh -huh. hmm maybe i Maybe I should, could, can change. Right. Right? Yeah. And then I wanted to follow this up with, Yui then says at the end of the episode, mm -hmm. help Yukino out if she's ever in trouble, okay? Yep. Now. It hurts. Ah, oh, it hurts so much. It hurts. It hurts so much mm -hmm. because I think there's about two or three things going on here. Only that much? <laughs> uh, all I can see at the very least, dude. Help me out. There's more. She says, help her out if she's ever in trouble, okay? Mm -hmm. Yukino will be in trouble at some point. Yep. But isn't she kind already of already in, in trouble? trouble? Isn't mm -hmm. that the whole reason why Haruno was talking, talking about to you? mom also? Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So Yui's kind of picking up on that. Mm -hmm. But also, she's the head of the Volunteers Club. Why do you think she was singled out for that by Hiratsuka sensei? Yeah, because she was sent here before any of you guys. So. Yeah, yeah. So she needs this. Mm -hmm. Just as much, or if not more, than uh, yep. than you, Hachiman. And then, of course, then, then here's the other aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, help, help is such a oh, such a strange verb. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I. Yeah. So go yeah. for it. Take it away, because I, 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 I it, it's a mess in my mind. Mm -hmm. It's it's a whole mess. It's a thing of where at. At some at some level, at some point, on some dynamic, mm -hmm. Yukino wants to mend things. I think with Hachiman, but is maybe scared to bring up the past. Sure. And yet, we've seen multiple times instances and very subtle, cool little hint drops that Yukino wants to interact in this deeper way with Hachiman and it emotionally throws her off every time mm -hmm. she's trying to do it. And we don't know exactly what it's regarding. It could be regarding the past. It could be regarding present feelings. It could be regarding just wanting to be better friends. Sure. It could be regarding nothing special and it's just, this is how Yukino self-sabotage is trying to be friends. So it's sure. kind of like saying... Hey, be her friend. Yeah. And God, I think that this kind of a line is mm -hmm. the one that you could look back on and be like, this is where the whole thing shifted in the direction of, of uh -huh. Yukino. That's, yeah. that's the yeah. kind of like, right. oh my because, God. Because it's also something where essentially it seems like Yui is saying, not entirely, but kind of, I'm giving up yep, on you. Yep. 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 Go, go, go help her out. Right? Oh. You know, I at uh. least want you to have some happiness, even if it's not with me. Oh man. That's, that, yeah. And, and the thing is, so, so this is, this is again, one of those things where it, <sighs> it, it, in this wonderful way, it throws me into this thing where I'm not sure who actually is the main girl because, because here's why, here's why. Really? Because all the signs are pointing towards Yukino. Yes. All of them. Literally all of them. Literally all of them. There is no hope, dude. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm just being delusional like Hachiman, right? I could definitely It's sad, but it's it's true but, at this but point. I could, this episode drove no, a freaking vampire uh -huh. stake into this undead like yeah, thing. No, no, just no, like, I, no there is yes. no way. 
Ex- bear with me here. Yeah. Crazy, crazy thought. And uh-huh. and and maybe this is just again because I really like you as a character. No, I love you. No, 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 no. I know, I know, I know. For it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we need to focus on both characters, right? At the same time? No, no, no. But but we need to get like Yukino hasn't really been getting true focus yet in the show. Right? Yeah, she's got like, little bits. Little, here and little there. bits here and there, but it was always very much a thing of mm-hmm. we're going to get big focus with Yukino in the future, right? Which is one of the other things well, yeah, that make it seem like she's the main girl, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. But what if mm-hmm. When that ends up happening, there is still something or other, some reason for why that doesn't work. And oh, then I 100% agree with that. Yeah. I, right. Because yeah. I'm guessing that it's going to be something since there's three seasons that there's going to be the first season. And this is, you know, we, and we're seeing that this is mostly focused on Yui. Second season, I'm guessing, is going to be mostly focusing on Yukino, you know. And then the third season will be where it's the finale, you know. Oh, that's where they can focus on Hachiman. Oh, uh, sure, sure. Or or just see, you know, yeah. But basically where, where these characters have grown, where right. they're at, and then who it makes who makes sense for them to end up together if Hachiman with even anyone. ends up with anyone, right? Yeah. Because was, because I could see Hachiman potentially not ending up with anyone at the I, end of the series. I, I do too. I, I think that though this is a this is a romantic comedy snafu. Yeah, but it's but it's still even a, it's a romantic snafu, comedy. It's still a romantic comedy. So yes. there is going to be right. canon couple mm-hmm. endings and stuff like that because and, there's there's something emotionally satisfying about having a Final, just oh yeah, everything goes and it's it's simplified. If you make if well, you, if you if you get me, and but, but, well, okay. but I, I just mm. wanted to say though that there's so many ways though, Jacob, that they can still have really good relationship drama, romantic tension between Yui and Hachiman without mm. them ending up together. Definitely. So so, so this yeah. is this is the yes, I think I think Hachiman's going to end up with somebody because he's the main character. He has to grow the most. And since this is the area where he is essentially the weakest, where he needs to grow the most, sure. then he needs to end up with somebody in my mind as that sort of final resolution stake in the ground to show that he has he has grown right yeah and they'll probably show up before he ends up with someone oh oh, definitely definitely so that that way we can actually be cheering for that to happen as opposed to it just being sort of a a convention that must be yeah that's not this right exactly so but in the case of yui what if it was something where we develop yukino but it's something where, no, 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 surprise, see, we were always making you think that Yukino was going to be the one that would end up getting all of this development, okay. and we do, but it's actually showing the unconventional beginnings of the canon couple. I like it. I so, like it. So then sure. it's actually something where it's the, yes, you know, the, uh-huh. it, it won't be a, a linear path to the end, right? And we're seeing oh God, here. Yeah. Romance right, right. dramas are never a exactly. linear path to the end. Exactly. But we're seeing here the biggest hurdles that would need to be overcome in an eventual relationship between the two of them so that that way, when it gets to okay. a point, if it ever does, where a relationship between the two of them could happen, we will know what it is when we see it. Right. Yeah. But, so that's, 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 my, that's my crazy idea. And maybe it's just me, you know, like being delusional but no i i understand that you are a a yui best girl mm-hmm. uh fan and i yep. i am i am with yep. you in that that yui deserves all the happiness in the world but i i mm-hmm. have to acknowledge the writing on the wall because yeah. it's been goddamned imprinted in hieroglyphics for five thousand years or <sighs> something and yeah it, it, yeah it's yeah it's it's mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's it's I'm I'm HK forty seven. This is ninety eight percent probability right. that things will go right. Bad. And and you go, oh, what about the other two percent? There is I'm a- like no two percent is for side. That's 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 literally that's literally where the other rest of the equation goes. Uh, I'm I'm serious. Like like yeah, like yeah. Zamakuza has you know more chance of just staying good friends with Hachiman at the end of the series than I believe uh, you, uh, Yui has this ending up with uh, Hachiman. Okay. Yes, but because this show loves to be non-traditional, unconventional, unconventional, yes, yes and, and, and but yes. convention, I could totally see it being something where you ma- it does everything to make you think that it right. won't happen with but Yui. But won't you, won't you feel so much more emotionally satisfied if Yui basically has that moment that she basically is so confident in herself 
and in just her life uh -huh. and friends and stuff that she doesn't need a relationship. Yes, and that's that could why be the way they butt convention. And that's why I'm so excited that this is happening in season one. Because, oh, with, with Yui getting all this focus? Uh -huh. yeah, because yeah. what if then that's what little focus that she does get in season two, kind of like the focus that Yukino's gotten in this season, what if it's her figuring out how to just be her own person, mm -hmm. and then if in season three, then they're truly able to start from zero or whatever, and then, you know, something happens, then mm -hmm. great. But, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 my, yeah. that's my, you know... Yeah. Tinfoil right, hat theory, right now, though, you know, dreamland. Yeah, right now, though... I feel like the main thing we haven't really given an ample focus on this discussion is Hachiman's reaction to seeing the car again mm -hmm. in this yep. context where yep. he's um, kind of forced to just stare at it. Right. Now, one, he stares at it. Mm -hmm. Two, he seems angry or indignant or oh yeah, the yeah, triggered mm -hmm. a bit when he's when he's staring at it. Yep. Three. Haruno notices this. Oh, yeah. And it it's not like it would have taken a lot to pick up on it. No, but, but Haruno she... knows about the whole incident mm -hmm. in the way that she does the, oops, I said the thing that Yui kind of knew about most of this. But Yui didn't know everything. Mm -hmm. And now it's the whole everyone, is ha everyone has the same kind of basic information now thanks to right. Haruno expositing this. But... but, but um, mm -hmm. Hachiman, that yeah. bit of where you're like, no, I, she's not at fault for any of this, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like, like I can, I can see literally the, this guy is holding back a lot of emotion right here, mm -hmm. and it hurts me to see him having yep. to do this because in this instance here, Yui would be. Not necessarily mature in the like best way that someone like um, <laughs> we joke about it, but Hiratsuka probably would be able to give him a more mature response. Mm -hmm. But you need to process this, Hachiman. Yep. You need to process this with someone. Mm -hmm. That was a very traumatic time in your life, right. and yet I I don't think you've talked about it with anyone really. Nope. And I so feel you're like not okay with all of no. this. No, and it's something where the. Originally, I didn't see that event when it was established in the show as being something that would be traumatic for Hachiman. Oh, it's like yeah. like other than the you know potential near death experience kind of a thing. But what I think it <laughs> it it really is mm -hmm. is the idea that because because you know he he saved a dog right so so he he at least was able to make that he wasn't like completely at the mercy of something he made he he was able to have enough courage in the face of the event to make the decision to save Yui's dog right uh -huh. so so that that makes me think that he would be okay from the the that kind of traumatic fear of death angle okay at least able to to handle it okay and process it right gotcha but the main thing seems to be that he was all happy go lucky this is going to be the new me my my school life is going to be so much better. This is going to be great. And the universe slapped. And then him the universe the slapped head. him back down to earth. Right? He flew flew too close to the sun. Right? But not only that, it was someone connected to her. Right. And so she has not brought it up once. Exactly. The whole time. Right. So it's not just the fact that he got hospitalized for a bit. Right. Mm -hmm. It's what that meant to him. Yeah. And and I think it's something where because he is is so um uh basically he could have when all was said and done still mustered up that same energy that he did for the it's it's still going to be a brand new me right but he didn't right yeah. which of course he's a human being right mm -hmm. he has limitations and everything like that yeah but then as a result of that i feel like it's something where he's internalized a bit of that maybe not self-hatred but mm -hmm. you know uh, frustration, intense emotions regarding that, and yeah. because it's something that is not something that inherently would cause a very strong emotional response, I feel like it's something where he doesn't really talk about it with people. Yeah. And but, then... Yeah. But the other thing that it kind of brings up, and I think this is a really clever way that they did this, uh -huh. Haruno basically ends up kind of being the diplomat between the car, yeah. by extension, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Yukino. Again, she's humanized a lot more in this episode because we see her as trying to be the big sis protecting Yukino, the little sister. Right, even though she inadvertently 
told Hachiman that Yukino was in the car at the time when, yeah, which basically tells him that Yukino kept that from him. But but mm -hmm. but I want to bring up something. He's saying that he knows that she wasn't the one driving. Mm -hmm. He knows this. There's there's this aspect of his line that he said earlier, which I I oh god, it triggered me so much when I heard someone say um, the ah uh, I'm when he gave his sarcastic monologue about I'm Mr. Nice Guy, but oh, uh -huh. I could I could end the world basically if I wasn't so nice. That mm. kind of line. But think about that line in the context of getting hit by a car when you're a kid by a rich family mm -hmm. that. If he wanted to make hell for them, I he mean, could have. he totally could have. Yeah, yeah. And yep, that for some reason he's not. Right. There's no evidence, I would say, to support that they paid a whole bunch of money out no. to his family. It hasn't or what been have brought you. up in the story, nope. so and nope. and that's and that's potentially something of where he sees it as being a another instance of where people could be trying to. Uh, be nice to him in an mm -hmm. obligatory fashion yep. Yep. because he did them a serious mm -hmm. solid. He right. saves Yui's dog. He didn't get Yukino's family and uh -huh. a bunch of shit. Right? Yeah. I don't want to cause trouble for anyone, so I'll just sit in my corner. Exactly. And no one will have to be bothered by me. But you're bothered by them. Oh, Hachima. but you're very you bothered, are so by, bothered this by, by them. This thing. Yeah. And uh -huh. you need to acknowledge that because that creates this um this weight between the relationships mm -hmm. where there's this assumed level of um not karma but like something that like you don't deserve right me being this you know kind or oh yeah nice which, to you which definitely like probably that. doesn't do much for his whole self-esteem thing because he's you know you talked about the whole idea of the the almost self-flagellative aspect of the you know you must self. You you must, must admonish, admonish yourself. yourself yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. It's, I mean, it's, it's the flagellation is a bit extreme, but the point right. is, is that he's like down boy kind of thing. Is, exactly. Is, is his you know <laughs> modus operandi for whenever he's hanging out with women. Right. And and that he he uses that way too much. Oh, you know, yeah. a little bit of that of like, okay, hold on, you know, don't don't think with your it dick doesn't mean kind anything. of a thing. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know that can that can be good, but even when it's clearly something else he still is like nope can't go there so um i feel like this could be something where it's the okay my mind's blanking um i what do you what do you want to talk about the idea that basically he's um constantly saying your your opinions and perspectives on things need to be kept in check Who's right. you? Him? Uh, uh, him. His Himself? own. His own. Oh, right. So, gotcha. so when he gets frustrated with things, uh huh. But he's just staying into the. He's just staying in his corner. It's um, it's it's, it's not something. It's incongruent. He's not letting yeah. himself address it. Right. 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 It's it's something where he's uh. His emotions and his logic are, at the very least, in battle with each other because he doesn't feel okay with the way things happen. Right. But his logic is that. I will feel worse if I address it and thus mm -hmm. open up the wounds again. But also, in the parts where we assume the best about him, it will cause problems for people that he maybe does care about. Sure. Thus, thus this whole thing ends up being this black hole uh -huh. of pressure and stuff yep. building and building and building, but just sucking everything into it to where he can't even enjoy these relationships right because he constantly gets reminded about the context of things uh -huh. that could taint the right foundations of the relationship and, and, like mm -hmm. yukino being someone that met him before she met him and mm -hmm. saw this guy that she nearly basically her family essentially nearly killed right and yet didn't what, didn't feel the need to tell him. What? what did, yeah. 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 I, I I love that the miscommunication drama is compounding on itself mm -hmm. because each character has things that they are unable or unwilling to say right. because of the serious pain that they would have to go through uh -huh. not only in the 
act of saying it, but in the perceived response that they would get. Yes, and 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 this is one of the saying that one one of the things that I love about this because miscommunication drama can get really really tough to handle. Yeah, and usually when I see miscommunication drama, it's in misunderstanding. Yes, miscommunication which is, drama, ugh. which is you know yeah, it's, it's you you can do it, but it's 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 a it minefield. Can, yeah, it's a minefield. Yeah, in this situation. It's yes, it is miscommunication drama, but I feel like it's almost more it's non communication drama, yeah, yeah. right? Where it's where it's there are feelings beneath the surface, and because they're not being addressed within the individuals, they're they also not be being expressed. allowed to be expressed, yep. right? And and Hachiman maybe because of his low opinion of himself, he's not giving he he doesn't have the self worth and the self confidence enough to say that if he has an issue with something, he needs to bring it out and that the relationship oh, is real. worth sa saving both for himself and for the other person, that whatever harm, whatever uncomfortable aspects come as a result of it, it's worth it because they care about you. Mm. And because he has all of these past trauma stuff with his social interactions with people, especially with girls, Oof. he can't bring himself to actually be open about it. So even when they try to be open, he intentionally shuts them down and cuts them off. God, I've literally done that exact thing. Like, oh, yeah, like but we don't necessarily know thing. that we're doing it. Like, no, 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 no. I mean, like, I have literally done that exact thing and oh. had the, you know, reflection time mm -hmm. where I looked back and was like, holy crap, I did that. Uh -huh. And it's something that oftentimes I'll have this look of, I actually still would have done it the same way. Oh, yeah? Like, if I even if I knew. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those things of where there were decisions like a little micro decisions that led to that scenario being one that I was stuck in. Right. But if I made different decisions th that led to a different scenario, it would have been easier mm -hmm. to bring up the non-communicated stuff. And I feel like that's, uh, that's something that a lot of people have um, issues with in general. The mm -hmm. idea of, I have things that I know I could say but I won't do it because I'm either a nice person or because I'm scared uh -huh. or because I don't want to get rejected or, or some combination or Wh whatever, some combination of things like that. Mm -hmm. But it's something that I feel like Hachiman kind of is attracted to Yukino for is that she sure. just says the things mm -hmm. and then, right. That you know, she's feeling or believes uh -huh. without really caring about other people's feelings and stuff. Yeah. And yet Hachiman kind of acknowledges that uh -huh. I can't really totally do that. I can mostly mm -hmm. do that. Yep. But I'm too nice, maybe? Well, and to and, do that. And maybe that's something that really bothers me about myself. Mm -hmm. So then when I see that you can know is actually like that too. She's mm -hmm. not this idyllic, you know, version of of that concept that I've seen up till now. Mm -hmm. That oh yeah, there actually are things that she's scared to communicate and things like that. And as a result, we'll just sort of keep quiet because she isn't actually that perfect paladin. You know, she even copied a lot of of a lot of the stuff that she does from her sister. Oh well, then that's um, now I'm seeing a bit too much of myself in her. Hmm. Well, nope, can't uh, can't let anything happen there. Yep. I love that Hachiman's little monologue at the end is him basically coming to the conclusion of, wow, I blew it. Mm -hmm. Here I am, finding myself unable to forgive something so obvious and ordinary. Right. Because I mean, he thought she was different. Mm -hmm. And that is, that is a perfect tragic hero kind of moment where they basically thought they had something special with someone and yet they still do but mm -hmm. because of their perceived slight on a specific thing that hits that very precise mm -hmm. thing that's why i love to describe haruno as the needle mm -hmm. <laughs> is that she kind of accidentally needle opened oh, yeah. up the thing that D allowed this very obvious and ordinary thing that yukino mm -hmm. did or didn't do basically right. however you want to look it was at associated it. with yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um ends up getting right into the little yep. little needle pin hole. A needle can and, be acupuncture and, or it can be... Yeah. Mm. And then now he's yeah. like, and there I go, I will shut down. Yep. And, uh, mm -hmm. I, yeah, and I, I hate myself for it. And I love yeah. that it's something where he's... 
it's not that he's realizing after the fact mm -hmm. he's realizing while he's doing it oh yeah right yeah and it's still but that won't make him change it right no no and that's that's no, one of those of things not. where where i feel like one it's a it's a great way to make um the human heart make, in conflict well itself. yeah the human heart in conflict with itself but also right. to make it so that hachiman comes to a better understanding of himself even if it True. doesn't change what he does mm -hmm. he understands that he he isn't that idyllic version of himself even that he yes. kind of paints himself to be within his own head yeah which, right? which shows a little bit of humility if mm -hmm. you will because one of the things that will happen if he keeps this up is that he'll have to resolve it in somehow internally so that he doesn't just have restless nights at the very least you know sure so he'll have to either just over the course of time kind of iron out a way to handle it mm -hmm. or he'll accidentally like leak it out via some level of emotion, something that he says that Come indirectly on, Jill, kind of brings up it up. On it. Yeah. And he's got so many smart people around him because, I mean, mm -hmm. he's a smart guy as well. That yeah. They'll be like, ah, uh -huh. hmm, what's that? And he'll be like, ah, hmm, yeah, deflect, deflect. Right, deflect. right, wax on, wax off. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Right. So I'm, I'm really excited about where they take Hachiman with this new development, mm -hmm. but also something where he might end up helping himself because Yukino is now set up as the next person that needs a lot of help. We set up things with the mom, we set mm -hmm. up things with the sister, we set up things with Hachiman's past, we set up things with her and Hachiman specifically as a as a pair because right. of that whole bit when they met in the hallway. Um, mm -hmm. there, there's a lot of things that are set up with Yukino to where if they want to then focus the arc on her, like, mm -hmm. the, like whatever's coming up next, that could be really good. But this could just be more fuel to the fire of when they eventually kind yep. of go, you know, really in depth on Yukino. But either way, right. I'm I'm hyped for that. Yeah, the, I I can't remember the last time I was this emotionally invested in a protagonist of a rom com. Yeah, because usually even yeah. and 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 rom com. I mean, it can be kind of hard to to pin down what's a dedicated rom com because a lot of them have more rom than com or vice or, versa, right? Or or it's like it's a show about something else that also has like a romantic subplot or something, you yeah, know? True. Right. But but even then, usually if there's something that makes me emotionally invested in the main character, it's based on a specific. Um, more concrete conflict yes. right the the arima kose is where where it's the oh my god i'm traumatized of of music because of what happened with oh, my mom kind of gotcha, thing you're lying right April. yeah 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 um <laughs> forgot his name <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah you know but in this case it's something that goes so deep in like hachiman as a person like yeah. down into the foundation of his his very being that even though he does all of these things that make me so mad at him right yeah, he's imperfect. That's the whole point, and that's right. so we can see him grow and all of that stuff. And it's so I'm 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 yeah. very much on board with this arc, even oh. though I will be reing all along the way. Yep. So same. Y'all, uh, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and long discussion. If you want to yeah. see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. Also, be sure to check out our Twitch channel. Yes, we stream Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific time mm -hmm. for each of those days. Mondays, we do podcasts. Tuesdays, we do One Piece dramatic manga readings. Uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, Caleb, you do gaming. Right, I'm playing Hades right now, and will be followed by Cyberpunk 2077 in December. Yeah, and then on Thursdays, I do gaming, which right now is Persona 4 Golden. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.